Hospital executives are constantly looking for ways where they can simultaneously improve the top line through uh, higher patient volumes and increased brand loyalty, and as well to improve the productivity and efficiency of their staff, to increase patient satisfaction with the care they're provided, and then of course decrease costs so that they can improve their bottom line. And one of the most important things that can impact all of those is increasing communication and collaboration across care teams. And we know from recent research that 70% of the economic impact on poor communication inside hospitals impacts the time that patients stay and they're in hospital longer than they need to be. So helping those communications and that discharge planning process can be a home run for hospital systems and we believe one of the breakthrough technologies that can assist with that are avatars, human-generated likenesses that can help with those care encounters. So let's start with one of our examples about how this can work in healthcare today. Please meet Patty, my personal healthcare assistant. She's going to help me talk uh, to a patient, Nancy Brown. Patty, please show us Ms. Brown's most recent chest x-ray. This x-ray was taken yesterday at 3 p.m. Dr. Chab has read the film. And so I can immediately show her she's had good progress and it looks like she's on the road to recovery. And then Patty can help us again and I'll say, Patty, please show us Ms. Brown's lab results. Here they are. These are current as of 9 a.m. And again, I'll explain to Ms. Brown, the patient, what these lab results mean that she's recovering and that we think she can actually leave the hospital in the next day or two. And so we need to get that discharge planning process really rolling along. Patty, please notify Debbie in discharge planning. I've sent Debbie a text message. I also see that she's available this afternoon after four. According to Ms. Brown's active, her husband usually visits in the late afternoon and Ms. Brown wants her husband and sister to help with the discharge plan. I'll schedule a family conference at 4.30 p.m. Nancy's sister can join by video conference from her office. So we can see that that was highly customized for that patient and the patient's family. The scheduling could be done very efficiently with the staff and the patient and their family members. And we even know that one of those family members will participate remotely through a video link and it all happens very seamlessly. And then finally, I know that we'll need to send Ms. Brown home with some medication. So I, as a nurse practitioner, suggest Zithromax for five days and I ask for Patty's help placing that order. Patty, please send this order to Dr. Smith's office. Let me check her medication history. Ms. Brown's EHR says she's allergic to Zithromax. It's recommending Lovaquin, 750 milligrams, once daily for seven days. I'll send that order to Dr. Smith for approval. Patty, thank you very much. And we can see that a very potentially serious medication error was avoided because avatars can have those clinical rules embedded into them and they won't make the mistakes that humans make, overlooking that clinical best practice or perhaps second guessing it. And Patty did that in a way where she suggested the next better alternative and then she routed the electronic prescription to the physician's office for confirmation before it would be sent on to um, a pharmacy to have that medication prescription filled. And you can just see throughout this how each of the processes is streamlined uh, the nurse practitioner isn't typing into a computer or turning her back to the patient. They're having a very interactive conversation and can both look at a large screen to see what they're discussing, which improves the patient understanding of their care recovery as well.